I do believe it's payday. Payday? You haven't done a damn thing for me yet. Oh, I not true. I went with you to the meeting with the Lopez brothers. I told you to call them instead of waiting for the phones to ring. It made you look much stronger. Uh, yeah, why do I get the feeling you're about to be my largest business expense? There you go. Ah, uh, that should cover it, for starters. Did you get my message? Yeah, I saw that you called. I headed over here to see what you wanted in person. I don't really do messages. Well, if you plan on being my right-hand man and I'm gonna be paying you like that, you better start doing messages. <laughs> Why? I ain't joking. What happened? Especially when they're for me. What happened? I'm doing a lot of damage on Sonny. He called me over to the Metro Court last night. Confronted me in front of the whole restaurant about the goings on with the Lopez brothers. He's none too pleased. Right, that was the plan. It seems to be working out just fine. It is, but there's a catch. Which is? The more we piss Sonny off, the shorter the timeline before he becomes violent. No, I'm still impressed with the simplicity of your plan. I mean, you piss Sonny off to the point where he comes out, guns blazing, he gets arrested, goes away, end of story. Now, the only, only problem is that little we could die thing. Well, that little we could die thing is why I pay you so handsomely. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have to confess, it doesn't bother me at all we're going after Sonny either. Not a fan? No, he was ready to shoot me for beating his daughter without proof. Textbook Sonny Corinthos, guys are... Raging egomaniac with an itchy trigger finger doesn't think twice before destroying people's lives. Yeah, well, look what happened with Christina. I mean, after everything she's been through, you know, I understand why she lied. Yeah, I do too. She thought that Sonny was gonna kill the guy who was actually abusing her. And Christina was, is, in a pretty impossible situation. She's a good kid who is stuck with Corinthos for a father. I ran into Christina the other day on the docks. Mm -hmm. She was getting a pretty hard time from these two classmates of hers about Kiefer. So I helped her out. But, uh, I think I was a little too nice, though. Oh, Maya, dear. Do you have a moment? Something important I would like to discuss with you. It's a family matter. Okay, but before you go any further... I just want to tell you again how grateful I am for all the help you've given me and my sister. I mean, it, it means so much, you putting Zoe through boarding school. You're so generous, and again, thank you. It's my privilege to help out the two of you. It's the least I can do. Oh, well, thanks. Now, that being said, can you please not involve me in any of the family politics, okay? I am in no position mm -hmm. to take sides. <laughs> no, no, no. This is, a, this is a totally different matter. Do you know what today is? Wednesday, June 16th. <laughs> I see you've <laughs> inherited Mary May's sense of humor. No, unfortunately, this is the anniversary of your Uncle Justice death. I'm sorry. I guess I just don't really keep up with things like that. Well, I don't make a habit of dwelling on loss either. Even one as outlandish and nightmarish as this is. But I, but I can't help being reminded of how, how tragic the loss of your Uncle Justice was. You see, I was blessed to have justice in my life. Hmm? And to even get to know him was wonderful and he was a grown man before I ever found out that he was my grandson and I had to work very hard to uh, to earn his trust and his love but I squandered it I threw it away by manipulating him and it's something that I'll always regret I'm sorry. So am I. But uh, rather than explaining how all of this applies to you, would you would you have time to, to take a little drive with me this afternoon? There's something I'd like you to see. Do you have time to, to humor an old man? Of course. All right. Shall we? We shall. Well, what do you mean by too nice? I overheard these two little snot-nosed brats, I guess classmates of Christina's, giving her a hard time about Kiefer. Now she'll never find another guy to ever love her again. Nice. High school kids are so understanding. Aren't they? <laughs> so I stepped in and made a show. 
with the whole thing. Put my arm around her in a territorial way, and I gotta tell you, it worked. These two girls, you should have seen how shocked they were. They took right off. Yeah, and quite a hero. I don't know if I'd go that far, but I helped Christina out, give her a nice victory for the day. Well, let me guess now, she's fallen madly in love with you. No, no, worse. She's got it in her head that it would be a good idea if we pretended to date, really pull one over on her father. I guess she hasn't forgiven him for what happened to Michael. You know, it's not a bad scheme on her part, but it's just giving Sonny another excuse to want you dead. True. You know, you're not really seriously going to do this, are you? I got to tell you, at first, I wanted to give in to my impulse. I can't imagine what that would do. I don't really stick it to Sonny, but no matter how badly I want to cause him grief and pain, I'm not going to take advantage of his daughter to do it, and that's what I told her. All right, I got to get to this meeting with uh, Senor Lopez, so do me a favor, huh? I anything, man. Name it. You haven't heard from me by, I'll say, midnight? Go ahead and assume the inevitable happened. Sonny went ahead and had me whacked. Don't need all this crap to charity, will you? Yeah, gladly. But I get to keep the penthouse, right? And that custom pool cue of yours? Because it's been calling my name. Glad to hear you got my back, partner. Of course. I expect that pool cue to be here when I get back. I want to thank you for indulging me this afternoon. I'm sure there are a dozen different ways you'd rather spend your day than to be looking at a rose garden where your grandfather was buried. Uh, no, I was happy to go with you. Plus, I see how important it is to you. That's very generous of you. It's just a reminder of how I failed Bradley in justice. You know, I... Uh, I made a lot of mistakes, some very big ones, but I hope you won't hold them against me. I'd like to try this time, if I could, to get things right with, with you, if you're okay with that. I'd like to help you and your sister any way I can. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. You're filled with so much regret. You know, everyone makes mistakes. And I don't think that my grandfather or my Uncle Justice would want you punishing yourself like that. I mean, you've already done so much for me and my sis. All I want to do is help. Well, you have been very generous. But, um, listen, I don't want to come off ungrateful. But I need to be honest. I can't be the reason that you make up for your mistakes with my uncle and my grandfather. I'm sorry, I, I can't be your shot at redemption. Really? <laughs> oh, you can't okay. blame me for that. Oh, I, blame I, over yes, there. I can still blame you. It, it just seems like bad things always happen when you're around. Well, that or my presence makes you flustered, which could be a good thing. <laughs> Dream on. And by the way, the polite move would have been for you to just keep walking and act like you didn't see me. Wow, that sounds kind of rude to me. Rude? Rude is you laughing at my expense. Well, I'm not laughing anymore, although I should be. That's pretty classic. Come on, let me help you out. Clean you up. You, you, come on. Uh, make up for last time. You know what? I'll be just fine. No, you know, seriously, you're covered in that stuff. Come on, follow me. Wow, <laughs> nice place. You live here? I do. I, uh, I moved in about a month ago. It's uh, I don't know, one of the many perks of my new job. Oh, well, I hope the windows are bulletproof. Oh, well, thank you for your concern. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it is a nice place, but sometimes it seems a little, a little big for just one person. You know, it's nice to have company, especially company as lovely as you. 